to the wives and to the future wives out there. You know, the Bible says that we are to be the keepers of our home. And to be a keeper of anything means that you have responsibility over whatever you're watching. You have to watch over something carefully if you are the keeper of something. Okay, so not only should we be tending to our homes, cleaning up and, you know, you know, whatever, whatever it is at your home, you know what I'm saying? You know, whatever chores you're supposed to do at your home, right? So along with those physical chores to keep our house looking nice, we need to be doing those things in the spirit as well. Are y'all picking up what I'm trying to say? Like we need to be cleaning our home spiritually, just like we dust in the physical, we need to be dusting in the spirit. I feel God on that. We need to be cleaning spiritually as well. We need to be taking care of our home spiritually as well. We need to invite the presence of God as well, okay? Like, yeah, our husbands are great and they are our spiritual leaders and our children may love the Lord or maybe they have not, you know, um, made that decision yet. But what I am gonna look to is what the Bible says. The Bible says that we are keepers of home, so let's take that job seriously. Let's not only take care of our home physically, but also spiritually. Just because the man is the head of the home and the head of the family doesn't mean that we shouldn't be taking care of our home spiritually as well by doing our part. You don't know what demon is running around your house. You don't know what demon is trying to attack your kid. You don't know what demon is hiding in a corner trying to influence your husband. You just don't know. So we need to stay on top of it with our worship and our praise.